Hello, good evening, guys. Hello, Maurice. How are you? Fine. You're fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. So today is Friday, right? So I, I feel good. Uh, tomorrow is the day. Yes. Okay. So good evening, Carlos Omar. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How about you? I'm happy because it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. Yes, I know. Okay, so let's see. We also have Juan right there. Okay, guys. Well, today we have different things that we are going to cover. We are going to start with today's agenda. So we have the warm up. Then we are going to move to grammar, and we are going to cover this topic, which is transition words. We are going to finish with it, and we are going to talk about the focus group as well, according to the book. And we have um other information about grammar. Okay, at the end. So we also have listening quizzes, we have grammar quizzes, and we have the speaking time, okay? So we are going to start with the warm up, and today what we are going to do is that we are going to play Guess the Word, yeah? So what we are going to do is the following. I'm going to give you some words that you need to describe, and the class needs to guess, okay? So okay. I'm going to, yes, I'm going to give uh, some words to you, Carlos Omar, then also Maris, and in this case, Emerson, okay? You three will participate today, yeah? So what you need to do is that you are going to describe the item, the word, so we can guess which is the item that you are talking about, yes? So Carlos Omar... There you go. Those are ears. Okay. So, Maurice, those are ears. And Emerson, those are ears. Okay. Let me see. Yes. So, what we need to do is you need to describe the item. Okay. You will have two minutes. Ready? Okay. So, we're okay. going to start with Carlos, then Maris, and then Emerson. The broom, a uh, broom is, is my word. Okay, what you need to do, but you don't need to tell the word, okay? We need to guess it. Yes, so you shouldn't tell the word, you need to describe it, yeah? So for okay. example, um, the first one is going to be, this is example, broom, right? But you don't need to tell it. Usted no la debe de decir, usted necesita describirla. De you need to describe it. So we okay. need to guess it. All right? Um, uh, that is a uh, it's a reflection, reflection. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, I can see, I can see myself. Okay, we can see ourselves. Okay. Uh, um. uh, may, uh, Is it's a glass. Okay. All right. It's made of glass. Made of glass. Okay. What is it? Uh -huh. What is So we can see ourselves. It's made of glass. It's a mirror. A mirror. Yes. Next. Yes. Next, Carlos. Next. Okay. Yeah. Um... Is X a, a food? Mm -hmm. um, a born of, of the animal? Okay. Wow. So, mm -hmm. Not born. Uh, yes, <laughs> born to an, uh, of animal. And, and we can, we can uh, prepare it to, to many... 
Um, okay. Uh -huh. um, Prepare too many sauce, sauce. Okay. Okay. So we have um, mirror, and then which is the other word? Describe the other word. Uh, yes, is is a a word to of animal. Mm, not exactly. Look at the word. Nace de los de la, de los animales. I mean, I mean, could be, could be, but but you need to describe it in a way that they get the idea because um what you are describing, Carlos. It is something really, I would say, general. You need to be more specific. Okay. Uh -huh. mm. So for because example, the meat is uh -huh. for the animals, but if this, in this case, is born from the animal, maybe an egg. An egg. An egg. Okay. All right. Yes, we have eggs, but it was not that word. Uh -huh. <laughs> Born from the animal. Um, yes. Uh -huh. So it is something that we can wear. Uh -huh. That actually we put on when it's really cold. Uh -huh. It's a coat. A coat is a synonym for coat. It's similar, but it sweater. Is, it's a sweater. Uh -huh. A sweater. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then what about the other one, Carlos Omar? Number four, describe Number it. Number four. Um, they have light. Okay, light. Light okay. Uh, connected to, to electricity. electricity. Yes. Mm -hmm. We connect. Uh, maybe, oh. maybe a uh, metal. Of crystal of of, of and, wood. All right. And when do we use it? When do we use it? And we we can use it in the house, in the office, in the it's a old, lamp. Old place. Lamp. Yes. Very good. Okay. Continue. Next, Carlos. Uh, this is sweet. Uh, mm -hmm. We can use it in, in the old drum. Drinks. Drinks, okay. And we in all people have in the in the cook. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. In yes. the kitchen. Uh -huh. What is it is sweet? Uh -huh. It's sugar. Oh. Sugar, okay. Next. Next, Carlos. Okay. Um, and some people say that uh, that come of the sea. Come um, of the sea. Oh, comes from from the sea. Come from, 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 from the sea. sea. Okay. From the sea. The fish, uh, the crab, the shrimp. To 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 all people have in the in the kitchen and uh -huh. we use it in the old food. Salt. Yeah, salt. 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 Very salt. good. Okay. Well okay. done. Excellent. Okay. And the okay. last one. Uh -huh. The last one is uh, this this come from of the animal. Okay. And all people a a the this product. Mm -hmm. uh, and no. And this this thing a uh, uh, born to to a uh, more life. Born to more life. Eggs. Yes. Okay. Eggs. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, Carlos. Very mm -hmm. good. Oh, so you <laughs> see. Okay. I have you. You can, right? Si puede. Bye. Very good. Excellent. Okay, so Maris. Okay. Okay. 
Go. And uh, anything word. Yes. Cualquier this, palabra. Bueno. Yes, solo de, de, uh, describe it. Descríbalo, Norris. Uh, Invitation on weekend when I go to the beach. Bikini. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Marissa. Is it a bikini? A bikini or calzoneta. No sé. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay, the people were in the beach. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the other one. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, is, uh, um, uh, is yes. Uh, is a animal the best friend? Okay. The people. When I when I come in my house, uh -huh. uh, this animal is very happy when I come to my house. Uh, the dog, the dog, the dog. The the dog. dog. Uh, yeah, very good. Okay, yeah. the last one, Maurice. The last one, one more. Um, um, pero... Bueno, eh... it's necessary, it's necessary when but use in the world in the house uh, uh, to work okay. and, and they collect information to collect uh, information they okay. collect information oh and they say no in an advice an or advice device device mm -hmm. uh, uh, i i uh, encounter i found you uh, find huh i find in very information you telephone and uh, this, uh, the no, telephone no no necessary no necessary. It's computer. A... Yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> computer. Okay. Computer. Thank you, Maris. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Maris. All right. So Emerson, do you have your words? Okay, Miss. Okay. Let's go. Uh, uh, is use it to move from one place to other? Okay. The car? Yes, the very bicycle good. Bicycle or the motorcycle? Bicycle. It's a car. It's a car. Okay. Then the other one is a, it's a very common pet in our homes. The in car. our houses? A cat. In the houses? <laughs> no, Those it's dogs. the other one. <laughs> the doll? The dog, yes. The dog, okay. And the other, it is used to cut paper. Yeah. Scissors? It is, 
Yes. Used. How? Huh? It's more difficult. Um, this is screams, run, and go to the school. Okay. <laughs> Scream. <laughs> okay, Emerson. <laughs> yes, they scream, run, run and, and go to the school. To the school. A scream, a gritan. Yes, a scream. scream. Ah, the child, the boy, okay. child, children, the babies. Synonym, synonym. Not children, children. not boy. Babies. No. The students. No. Gosh. Um, the girls. Guys, no. The fathers. Fathers, no. No, it, oh my God, okay. So it is a synonym. It is a synonym for uh, children. Kids. 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 Very kids. good. Okay, next. Teacher, what is the difference between kids, children, and child? N nothing. Those are synonyms. Okay. Yes. It's a different way to say the same. But the same with thing. The, uh, uh, with a colloquial form. With, with Correct. The to, 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 to not repeat the same word. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Next. It is recommended to take at least eight a day. Okay. At least? At least? At least eight a day. Take a day. Coffee? <laughs> no. Yes. No, 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 it's not it's not coffee. <laughs> Para like tener una cita. To take a date. No. It is recommended to take at least eight a day. At least? Uh, eight. Ocho. Okay. Water. Water. Very good. Wow. Next. Yes. Is the color blue? It's the color, color blue. blue. The sky. The sky. The sky. The sky. <laughs> the sky. <laughs> Very good. The last one, Emerson. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is a food and drinking hot. Coffee. Tea. Oh no, 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 it's not that Emerson. No. No. This is a uh, food. No, it, it is the meaning of this is a food, this is a milk and takes warm. No, it's not a meal. Not a meal. No. Mm. Look at the chat. Look at the chat. Oh. Uh -huh. Use it in the bathroom. Use it in the bathroom. Shampoo. Bath bath uh -huh. mm -hmm. Soap. No. Yes, soap. Okay. Yes. yes, okay. okay, very good. Well, the other one is soup, right? But that one is S-O-U-P. Uh -huh. Okay, this very is good. This for the dinner. Yes, when soup. You are, uh, when you are cold or do I have a, a flu? Yeah, you need a chicken right? flu? Yeah. So, okay, very good, guys. Thank you, Maurice. Thank you, Carlos. And thank you, Emerson. Okay, so let's continue with today's class. And let, let me ask you something, okay? So, guys, what did we study yesterday? A lot of topics. A lot of topics. Okay, so tell me about <laughs> some of the topics that we studied. Okay. Um, the transition words. Okay. This is more interesting. Um, yeah. The um, 
de, uh, de, de um, um, transition of, of addition. Okay, transition words of addition. Okay. Mm -hmm. Adverbial time. Okay. We, for adverbial time. Okay, we, very so. good. Excellent. So. Um, and when you when you when we talk about the the different type of uh, test testing uh, very good the different type of tests okay yes very good excellent so well we are going to continue with transition words today guys and okay so uh, carlos omar help us reading what are transition words Okay. The, this word and phrase guide the, the reader. Mm -hmm. Phrases guide the reader through the next thing help create a smoke reading experience. They give the reader clothes about, about what is coming next. They help the reader to understand the greatest, the right. Main point in train of throw. Of okay. throw. Okay. Um, okay, this is for everybody pronunciation. Okay. So first of all, let's repeat this one. Thought. So thought. So thought. So yes. Then we also have this one. Writers. Right. Writers. Okay. And we have Phrases, phrases, yeah, and clues. Okay, guys, Um. so as we mentioned yesterday, uh, transition words are these words and phrases that guide the reader through the text and help create a smooth, yeah, a reading experience. So that means um, very understandable reading, yeah. So they give the reader clues about what is coming next. Yeah, they help the, re the reader to understand the writer's main point and train of thought. Yes, Tony. Teacher, help me please in the pronunciation of the of, uh, reader. Throw, throw. Oh, this one? Throw. This one. Yes, this yes. one. Because... Uh, um down in the in the sentence we have train of talk talk yes how or talk yes throw and talk like this is very similar okay so this one is reader through 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 okay through, through. and this like, one is like verdad through mm, no because verdad is just true but the other one, okay. um, through, verdadero, through. probably through. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yes. And this one is train uh -huh. of thought. Thought. <laughs> through, thought. Through, thought. Okay. Thank through you. Thought. Very good. Okay. So now, guys, we are going to study some of the transition words that are kind of important. So we have right here just for you to take into account those, yeah? So we have in addition, that means to add, right? So what is the meaning of although? Uh -huh. What is the meaning of although, guys? No? Aunque, en. Aunque. Aunque. Si bien. All right. O si bien. O si bien. Okay. Although. Okay. Aunque. Yes. What about as a result? Well, this one is very understandable. As a result is. Como resultado. Yes. What did we say yesterday that was on the other hand? Por otra parte. Por otra parte. Por otra parte. 
right? For this reason, for esta razón, mm -hmm. yes? What is the meaning of besides? What is the meaning of besides? Además. Además de. Okay. Yes, además, right? Uh, besides. Yes, además. Yeah. Then what is the meaning of therefore? Por lo tanto. Por lo tanto. Por lo tanto. Okay. So, whereas. Mientras que. Mientras que. Whereas. Mientras que. Yeah. What is the meaning of furthermore? Además. 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 And. Y. But. Pero. Pero. However. Sin embargo. For example. For example. For example. Additionally. Adicionalmente. O adicionalmente. Moreover. Además. además, además, as well, además, mm. también, ok, en mm. also, también, también, you see, yeah, ok, so those are the most common transition words that we should learn, now, sure. uh -huh. I have a question uh, with uh, the as well, mm -hmm. is también, right? Yes. But what is the difference uh, of say, for example, uh, add the two with dolly o at the end of a, ten a sentence? What is the difference? Mm -hmm. Yes, the difference is only um, the level that you use. If you use two, that is uh, something basic. And if you use as well, that is advanced. Okay, but, but I can use uh, both in interchangeably oh, okay absolutely okay. for example um if you want to say you know i'm really tired me as well yeah or me too i mean it's the same oh, okay yeah uh -huh. okay very good so let's see then what we are going to cover today is some grammar rules that we need to uh, follow, okay? So we have punctuation information about transition words, yeah? So guys, this is very important. This is very, very important. Um, whenever we use transition words, we should be careful with commas. Why? Because they are really important. Um, as you can see right here, we have one transition word, which is furthermore. Yeah, you see? But as you may see, it's the same sentence. The three of them are the same sentences. But what varies is going to be the coma. Look at this. On the first example, we have babysitting is an easy way to make money. Coma, furthermore, coma, it's fun. On number two, we have babysitting is an easy way to make money, period. Furthermore, but we use the capital letter because we have the period. Furthermore, coma, it's fun. And on the last example that we have, babysitting is an easy way to make money, semicolon, furthermore, coma, it's fun. So can you repeat the punto y coma? Yes, semicolon. Semi colon. Colon. Semi colon. Like this. Como el billete, colon. Yes, como colon. Yes. Uh, sem semi colon. Yeah. Semicolon. Yes. Ah, uh, semicolon. Okay. Uh, the, the meaning of M of each um sentence is the same yes is the but, same but uh, um i i know um i don't understand 
this situation in the grammar because you only make a change in the comma, the um, el punto, uh, the uh, period, period, the period and semicolon. Yes. But if the sentence don't have change, why um, we make a change in the in the in the grammar punctuation? Yes, very good. Why? Um, we need to uh, make those type of changes because sometimes you won't use just one transition word. I mean, on this case, we have one transition word on this idea, but it could be that probably you, you want to add another idea that will have a transition word. So it is important for you not to be too repetitive, right, with punctuation. So that's why you need to learn how to actually punctuate also when you are writing in English, right? So in this case, those are the three types of punctuation marks that we can use whenever we are using transition words. Then it's your choice. And I will be honest that the one that I like the most is going to be this one, the second one, because it is easy, right? For us to identify that every time that we use a transition word, any type of transition word, you need to add a period where the first idea ends and then capitalize the first letter, right? And then you move and you place comma right there. This is the easiest way when you are using transition words in a sentence, yeah? But if you want to use those, this one is really useful as well, this one. So, but if you don't add any punctuation mark, the sentence is going to be incorrect, right? That's why you need to be careful mm -hmm. with punctuation. Yes. And um, maybe another thing is that when, when we are using transition words, most of the time will be on professional emails, right? Or in professional academic papers, right? Or if you are like taking the TOEFL, if you are taking the IELTS, right? Those exams, you need to learn this, this type of things when we are studying transition words, not just transition words and that's it. No, you need to learn punctuation marks with transition words as well. And those are the uh, three type of, um, I would say options that we have, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have any question about this, about punctuation? No? No. No, okay. no yet. All right. So now let's move. And look at this, okay? Look at this example, this short example that we have right here. There are many reasons everyone should own a dog, period. Now, transition word. Which one goes here? From those four. First. First. Okay. Oh, but we need to add first like this, right? First, comma, dogs make great companions, period. Which is the other transition word? Also. Also. For example. For example, very good. For example, comma. Uh -huh. When you come home from work, your dog will always be happy to see you, period. Also, also, also. Mm -hmm. if you own a dog, you will be happier and healthier, period. In conclusion. In conclusion. In conclusion. 
Dogs are the best pets for everyone to own. So look at the punctuation mark. Which one is the one that we used? The one that I told you that was the easiest, right? Because that one is the easiest. Once you end your idea, period. And then add the transition word, coma. And you continue with the idea, period, once you end it. And then you add another transition word, coma, and so on and so forth, as you can see right here. That's what I mean whenever you need to know about punctuation, right? Hmm. Do you have any question about this? In conclusion, teacher, uh, every time we use a transition word, we have to put before of that a, a period and after that a comma. Correct. Okay. In in all the the transition words. Yes, in all of them. Okay. Yes. Okay. That will be for you to to I would say to play it safe, right? Because if you add comma, semicolon, yeah, I mean. You can make mistakes yeah. with punctuation. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Any other doubt? Something else, guys, that is not clear? No? Okay. So what we are going to do is the following. This is going to be individual, okay? And we are going to create a short paragraph here in the main session. So we are going to create a short paragraph using at least three transition words, a short paragraph, yeah? Uh, well, let's see the following idea as an example, this one, right? So you can choose any topic that you want and then we need to share it with the class. Please make sure you use punctuation marks correctly. Yeah, those are topics ideas. You can talk about cats, you can talk about video games, online shopping, Facebook, social media, smartphones, the internet. It is your decision. But what I want you to uh, actually use transition words and punctuation marks, yeah? Okay, so I'll give you around uh, five minutes for you to go ahead and start creating your short paragraph. Yeah. If you have questions, please let me know. Once you finish, send your paragraph here to the uh, Zoom um, chat, right? And if you want, you can take a picture uh, of your notebook and send it to the WhatsApp group. But I would like to see that you are working on this. Okay, I'll give you five minutes. Yes. Thank you. 
Okay, Maurice, I just uh, resend it, right, um, with the corrections. You were missing some commas, okay? Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Have we send you a t-shirt uh, in WhatsApp or over here um, in the chat? Um, if it is better for you on WhatsApp, it's okay. I mean, okay. Okay, now we see. So there are some things we should know about them. First, they are adorable animals and will seal your heart. Okay, for example, they don't greet you with much joy. Well, that is true, right, Carlos? Um, because they are always hungry. Okay. Also, they sleep a lot and shed their hair on the couch. It's in there. Very good. Yes. Mm, okay, let me let me reply to to Abigail. Okay, um, Abigail, I just um reply back. You were missing some comas and also the spelling. Okay, the spelling of first. Let me see. Always you go to this first. You have to increase. Okay. 
Shopping online is a bit method of reducing time. Mm -hmm. And where you should be very cautious. Okay, very good, Emerson. Okay, uh, Carla, many people think without S. Mm, okay. Let me see, Carla. Okay, many people think that cats are not friendly, but cats have different way of showing their friendship, for example, friendship, okay. For example, Okay. For example, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, guys. Okay, let me see you later. Online shopping has advantages. Advantages. First, okay. Uh -huh. Online shopping has advantages. First, you don't have to go out from your home. For example, for example, coma. You can order clothes from your computer and do um, the spelling, other things at the same time. Also, you can find the discounts in conclusion on shopping makers. Make, make online shopping makes our lives easier. Advantages. Advantages. Um, as far as you have to go for your home, for example. Author. In the word other, it was my my correction from oh. corrector. Yeah. Okay. I have many problems when I'm writing from the cellular because the this cellular do, do, don't recognize another um, language. I don't know why. Really? Yeah, if I am, I really hate this Samsung. I don't know why, because I choose the two languages Spanish mm -hmm. and English for the for la escritura and the always, always mm -hmm. so, yeah when I am writing in English doesn't recognize the other word I don't know why okay all right don't worry well in this case yes use the comas right the comma. mm -hmm. comas. yeah okay I think and that the... uh -huh. Teacher, in the last sentences that in the last sentence that I wrote is okay. in conclusion. What is there? The right um in conclusion, yeah. Yeah, in conclusion, but online shopping make make us no, um, it should be make her. makes our life easier. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. like decir nos hacia nuestra vida, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. The internet is one of the greatest invention in the history because okay. there are many things that internet allows to be easier to be easier in life. First, it allows us to be 
Okay. Let me see. Alarms. That internet allows to be easier in life. First, it allows us to be community, to be, to communicate, to communicate easier, to communicate with other people, with easier with other people. any current topic. On the other hand, we have to be careful with what we do as well. Okay. Um, in your case, Roberto, maybe use the word choice. Okay. Okay. Yes, the word choice. The word choice, uh, actually, guys, is la elección de las palabras que a veces utilizamos. Using a bicycle of transportation way has many benefits. First, we have a reduce of time when you go to the point A to point B in short distance addition, which contribute. So, perfect. Jose, I'm going to tell you three reasons to make good deals when you buy online. First, you don't need to move to the shop more you can do it. Okay, perfect, uh, Tony, excellent. Yes, very good guys, okay. So, um, you see, I mean, it's not that difficult, but we need to uh, probably have a lot of ideas, right, to write about the topic. But then when it comes to punctuation marks, it's kind of easy. Okay, if you know the rules, so you have um, no issues at all. Okay, then, okay, guys, I'm going to take the attendance right now. Okay, give me one second. So before we move to the next activity. Let me see. Okay. So here we go. Um, guys, do you have any issues with the platform? Any issues that you may have with the platform for the ones that probably have not completed the exercises? Um, no, no issues? I did have a problem, but, oh, teacher. but I can Me. complete them. All right. Okay. Okay, so I hope the other ones do not have any issues at all, guys. If you have, please report it. Okay, so you can, you can work on the platform. Aleida Esmeralda. Present, teacher. Thank you. Atilio Ernesto. Atilio. Atilio is not here. Carlos Omar Linares. I'm here, teacher. 
Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Eduardo Franco. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Jose González. Jonathan. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Jorge. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elías Flores. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Juan José Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez. Kenia. Luis Miguel Corbera. Luis Miguel. I think that. Sí, me yes, I think that you were having some issues, right? Yes, we do okay. hear you. Yeah. Otro, otro susto. Yes, okay, don't worry. Uh, Marian Scarlett Rodriguez. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Thank you. Nelly Lipeth Andrade. Nelly. Present. Thank you. Pablo Adalberto Abreu. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán. Raúl Antonio. Roberto Esaú Celaya Argumedo. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Boniacano. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Ivonne Torres. Present, Miss. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Wendy. And Wilbert Jonathan Bautista. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue, guys. Uh, let me see. Okay. So right now, yes, we are going to continue and we are going to have this activity, which is going to be in teams, all right? So we have the writing practice, contrasting ideas and looking for similarities, yes? So what we're going to do is the following. Right here, you will have those two short readings, yes, about Sasha and Anil, okay? So what we need to do is that what you um, need to do is the following. We have um, the example, right? So we need to read about the two characters below. Yeah, you need to highlight words and phrases that show their external and internal traits. Then we need to compare them using transition words. For example, Sasha is 10 years old. On the other hand, Anil will be turning 11 next month. This one is about the first paragraph, yes? Then you can move to the next paragraph to look for some similarities or differences, yeah? And you need to do the same. You need to create six uh, sentences, but based on those two readings, okay? So that's what we are going to do. Do you have any questions? No? Okay, so now okay. then... Let's move, okay? Let me go ahead and create the breakout rooms. If you cannot uh, go to the breakout room, it's okay. You stay here, please. And if you can participate, so let's move, okay?
Let me see. I'm gonna try to, to share the screen. Yes. I, I, Uh, the the image is just but I don't have teacher can you share the, the link with the yes absolutely the okay yes okay mm, there you go so we are on class number 10 okay Can you see the yes? Yes. Okay, the first one. Say We have to look for a uh, six difference, right? Between yes. The... Okay. Teacher, uh, please, can you share the this image in the group? What's up? In the WhatsApp group? Yes, please. Okay. Sure. Let me let me send it. Give me one second. Where is yes? Okay, I will do it. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Sasha is a ten years old girl. Okay. The, the first one can be a uh, Anil has a black hair, mm -hmm. but uh, Sasha has curly hair. Yes, uh, Sasha has a lot of friends at the school, and Anil is very quiet in class. Very good. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, 
Can you repeat, uh, Carlos? Uh, Sasha has a lot of friends at the school. Okay. And Anil, he is very quiet in in class. But Anil, right? He's very quiet in class, but he enjoys talking with his best friend. Okay. In another uh, another difference is uh, today in class Sasha is teacher mm -hmm. and Anil uh, talk a much text in class. Okay. Sasha Sasha is Sorry. Say today in class, Sasha's teacher. Ah, okay. Sasha's teacher, Miss Hammond, gave a mass test. test. Uh, what can be the transition world? We got transition world, Carlos. Excuse me. Sorry. But 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 okay. Always but. Um, no. But I need. Mm -hmm. Uh, and in uh, a math a math test in class. Okay. Also, pero que te sería down. El mismo que tienen ellos. Also. And in feel very nervous. Even maybe, um, como se, se, no, se me call? Oh, no, coma. Mm -hmm. Even, not even, no, even so, he's a smart kid. Because um, he doesn't like my math. Like much, hmm? very much. Creo que aquí hicimos dos en una. Un poco así. After school, Sasha always goes to her parents' restaurant. It can be the, the third. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. But. 
Sasha, Sasha, Sasha held her partners and yes. Anil take le a piano lesson. Yes, yes, that's true. After, because after he, he is a very talented musician. Okay. Piano lessons. We can we can put a whereas whereas uh, Sasha always goes to her restaurant. 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 Great. Yes. After the school has after the school and it and you has piano lesson, whereas uh, Sasha always goes to her parents' restaurant. Yes. Okay. okay, next. Let me see. We go in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Sweat is trapear. Sweat. What? Uh, what is it? Barrer. Barrer. Oh. Uh -huh, okay. Sweeps the floors and fills the container. Another is the, the Sasha held, held her father's in the restaurant, and Anil held around the house. Okay. Around. Uh, Sasha helps her parents. Rest our But, but Anil, sorry, but Anil, Anil held in in his house. Okay. His house. Uh, we can uh, we can we can put a uh, uh, for example Anil is is a very talented music musician. Um, on the other hand, Sasha uh, is good in, in mathematics. Yes, it's true. Very another another difference is the um uh, Sasha is good in mathematics. Eh, ¿Cómo lo, cómo lo puede decir? Eh, Sasha is is más eh, eh, analista, an, eh, analista, Analy analistic, right? Analysis because eh, she, she she likes the the math. And and, and Anil, uh, he likes the the write and read. 
Mm -hmm. uh, analytical. Analy uh, both have a uh, different skills. Okay. Very good. If you want, we, we can we can combine these. Uh, for example, uh, Anili is a very talented music. Besides, mm -hmm. yes, a uh, 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 talented music, a uh, write and read. Uh, she preferred to read and write. He can. Yeah, he can what? Sorry, uh, write. I uh, write books. I need write a uh, read books and write. Ah, okay. In Sasha, is good in math mm -hmm. because it is her favorite subject. Favorite. Favorite. Mm -hmm. Favorite subject. Okay. Very good. Uh, she is doing mathematics. We can we can put I don't know. Uh, another another difference is the the Sasha is mass uh, imperativa. Okay. Imperative. Uh, uh, imperative and Anilis is mass uh, quiet. Quiet. Yes. Yes, hyperactive. I think that I think mm -hmm. that is the, the first one, right? Let's see. It's such a sort of friend at school, but Anil is very quiet in class. Introverted, extroverted. Mm -hmm. yes. Extroverted, introverted. Uh -huh. eh, 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 sorry, Carlos, eh, in this one. Sasha is good in mathematics. Additionally, Sasha has a good analytics right now. Sasha. Oh, uh -huh, yes, in this one. In... Why you say uh, Sasha is good Sasha in Sasha is good in math? Okay. In math. And uh, uh, another because such a is such a is good is good in math because it is his favorite favorite subject. Oh, only that. Yes. Because <laughs> example, uh, you see. How how say uh, interactive? Hi, hyperactive. 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 Hi, hyperactive. I I I send it uh here in the chat in the chat. Oh, okay. Hyperactive. Okay. In conclusion, mm -hmm. Very Sasha, good. Sasha, Sasha is extroverted. Is 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 the correct word, teacher? Extroverted, okay. Extroverted and Anil is is introverted. Introverted, okay. Excellent. Sí, sí, es eh, profile psicolo psicológico. Psychological yeah, yeah. profile. You, ana you analyzed, right? Yes. Very good. Okay, guys. In conclusion, Sasha is extrovert, but An Anil He's is introvert. Quiet. Ah, I'm introvert. Introvert. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Okay. Mm, okay. So yes, Carlos and well in this case Roberto is not here, but 
Let's wait for him. Yes. Okay, Carlos and Roberto, you are the first team, okay, that will present. Yeah. If you want, you can share your screen. We my mom teach that it uh, works at sorry. Okay, don't worry, it's okay. Well, okay, so if you want, uh, take your time, Roberto, okay? We are going to move. Yes, yes, yes. yes don't worry. We are going to move with Carla. Carla and your team. Hello. Yes. Uh, 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 we do five. <laughs> we create it. We made. We create mm -hmm. We made. <laughs> okay. Five. Uh, Sentences, okay. Number one, Sasha has lots of friends at school, but Anil is very quiet. He has okay. one friend. Okay. Uh, number two, Nelly. Um. Oh. Yes. I know. Sasha. Hey. Yes. Basha felt confident for the test because math is her favorite subject, whereas um, Anil felt very nervous, even though he's a smart kid because he doesn't like math very much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sasha always goes to her parents' restaurant. On the other hand, Anil has a piano lesson. Okay. Uh, but both have their parents. For example, Sasha, usually she sweeps the floor and fills ketchup containers. And Anil goes home to babysit his siblings. 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 Sasha helps in the parents' restaurant. Also, Ernie helps his home. In his home. Aquí creo que faltó la coma. Okay. Always put the... Period. Period and then coma. Okay. Period. Capitalize the letter A and coma. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Very good, guys. Well done. Okay, uh, Jose and your team. Okay, teacher. Tony? Can you share the screen, please? Okay. Okay, teacher, we just have three. Okay. Sasha and Anil go to the same school, besides they are in the same classroom. Okay. In the school, Sasha is very friendly, although being talkative uh, gets her in trouble, it gets her into trouble. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, Emil is shy and he just likes to talk only with his best friend, uh, Grant. Mm -hmm. Today in the math exam, Sasha resolves very fast the, the test uh, because she likes math. 
However, Emil doesn't enjoy math as well. The last we 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 finish it on the way, teacher. <laughs> yes, okay, so don't worry. It's today in the math exam, Sasha resolves. Okay. Today in the math exam, uh -huh, Sasha resolved the very fast test and she likes math, the math subject. She and she likes, likes math subject. Subject. Okay. However, Emil doesn't en... doesn't enjoy. However, uh, Anil doesn't enjoy enjoy enjoyed. It. And you need to remove as well. Because you, you say that uh Sasha likes math, but Anil doesn't. I think. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Well done. Teacher, okay. we have a we have a uh um a troll in this in this part. Are yes. Begin talkative or talk a lot. Uh, talkative like a cinnamon like Ablantina. Yes. Or, or, but I don't know if it's yeah. It is correct. Or, it is or, the, the adjective. Ah, okay. Talk it. Okay. Yes. Pero se entiende como Ablantina, ¿verdad? Yes. Como yes. Or, que hablan mucho. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's the same. It's the but same. But in El Salvador, Habladora is. Is a, a negative adjective for people that like to make a chismorrear, but it is not the case in this in, in this sentence. It depends on the context, right? Okay. But yes. Very good. Well done, guys. Okay, uh, Roberto. Yes, you should. Okay. Let's. Okay. Present. All right. Okay. Uh, the first one is Sasha has a lot of uh, friends mm -hmm. at the school, but uh, Anil is very quiet in class. Mm -hmm. The second, Sasha felt confident that she did well on the test but Anil felt very nervous. And the next is, as to the school, Anil has piano lesson. Gloria's uh, Sasha always goes to her parents' restaurant. Very good. Okay. Number four, Sasha helps her parents' restaurant, but Anil helps his house. Okay. Number five, Anil is very talented musician. Besides, he can read and write books. <laughs> On the other hand, Sasha is good in mathemat mathematics because he is her favorite fa favorite. Favorite. Subject. <laughs> Additionally, Sasha has interactive. Oh, Sa Sasha is. Is Sasha is. In conclusion, yeah. in conclusion, Sasha is extrovert, but Anil is introvert. Introvert. Um, okay, so I have that observation. Additionally, Sasha is. Is. Is, and what it says on the other hand, you are missing the letter D. Oh, okay. yes, yes. On the other sure. hand, yeah. Okay. And let me see. Sasha helps her parents' restaurant, but Anil helps in his house. In his house. In his house. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay. All right, guys. Very good. Okay. Let's be careful with the uh, spelling. Okay. With the spelling. Let's be careful with that. All right. So, guys, let's move and let's start with the listening quizzes, okay? We are going to take the first one right now. Let me just share my screen. Okay, if you are on the spreadsheet, so you can... Um, 
you can grab the, the quiz, but if not, let me get it for you. Let me see where is it. Yeah. Okay. So listening for teens, that's the one that we're going to start with. Listening for teens and the passcode is listening, as you know. Okay. Teacher, sorry. Yes. Do you pass a team then? Yes, I already did. I'm okay. oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't worry. I already uh I already added yours, okay? I have my bad internet. Okay, don't worry. It's okay. Teacher. Yes. I am driving. I am driving. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Don't worry, okay? Thank you. All right. Okay, guys, ready? If you're driving or if you cannot take it, don't worry, okay? So we are going to take this quiz, just the ones that actually are able to do so, okay? Then let me know once you are ready so I can play the recording. I'm going to play it two times, okay? I'm ready. Okay, here we go, guys. Hey, have you been watching any of the World Cup soccer matches? Well, I was watching until my favorite team was bounced out in the first round of play. I mean, they should have made it all the way to the second round. But a whole series of events cost the team the opportunity to prove themselves on the world stage. What do you mean? Well, in the first match, two of their star players were out with nagging injuries. So the rest of the players, unfortunately, just couldn't keep up with the opposing team. Well, that's it's just life. I mean... Yeah. I mean, every team is going to have players out with injuries. Yeah, but that's besides the point. And, and then in the second game, the refs made some terrible calls, allowing the opposing team to slip by with a victory. I mean, we were robbed on that one. The refs must have been walking in their sleep. But didn't one of your own players accidentally kick no. the ball twice into his own goal? I mean, uh, that doesn't sound like a bad call well, to me. That's just besides the point. Really? And finally, our team was ahead in the final match. I mean, they were way out ahead until the other team rallied in the final three minutes of play to squeak out a victory. It was a total embarrassment for our team. Our team was booed. All I can say is that the sun must have been in our players' eyes. Uh, wasn't it a night game? That's besides the point, too. I, you're just not understanding anything I'm saying. So, who are you rooting for now, seeing that your team has been eliminated? Uh. I can't watch any more soccer, so I've been following an online chess tournament. What? Now that has to be the most ridiculous reaction I have no, ever heard no, of. No. So you're going to completely boycott the rest of the play just because your team got bounced out of the tournament? Ah, oh, forget it. You just don't understand. Okay, so the second time. Hey, have you been watching any of the World Cup soccer matches? Well, I was watching until my favorite team was bounced out in the first round of play. I mean, they should have made it all the way to the second round. But a whole series of events cost the team the opportunity to prove themselves on the world stage. What do you mean? Well, in the first match, two of their star players were out with nagging injuries. So the rest of the players, unfortunately... Just couldn't keep up with the opposing team. Well, that's it's, just life. I mean, yeah. I mean, every team is going to have players out with injuries. Yeah, but that's besides the point. And, and then in the second game, the refs made some terrible calls, allowing the opposing team to slip by with a victory. I mean, we were robbed on that one. The refs must have been walking in their sleep. But didn't one of your own players accidentally kick no. the ball twice into his own goal? I mean, uh, that doesn't sound like a bad call well, to me. That's just besides the point. Really? And finally, our team was ahead in the final match. I mean, they were way out ahead until the other team rallied in the final three minutes of play to squeak out a victory. It was a total embarrassment for our team. Our team was booed. All I can say is that the sun must have been in our players' eyes. Uh... Wasn't it a night game? That's besides the point, too. I, you're just not understanding anything I'm saying. So, who are you rooting for now, seeing that your team has been eliminated? Uh, I can't watch any more soccer, so I've been following an online chess tournament. What? Now that has to be the most ridiculous reaction I have no, ever heard no, of. No. So, you're going to completely boycott the rest of the play just because your team got bounced out of the tournament? Ah, oh, forget it. You just don't understand. 
Okay, guys, ready? No? Okay, let me replay. No, teacher, no, teacher, please, and again. Okay. Hey, have you been watching any of the World Cup soccer matches? Well, I was watching until my favorite team was bounced out in the first round of play. I mean, they should have made it all the way to the second round. But a whole series of events cost the team the opportunity to prove themselves on the world stage. What do you mean? Well, in the first match, two of their star players were out with nagging injuries. So the rest of the players, unfortunately, just couldn't keep up with the opposing team. Well, that's it's just life. I mean... Yeah. I mean, every team is going to have players out with injuries. Yeah, but that's besides the point. And, and then in the second game, the refs made some terrible calls, allowing the opposing team to slip by with a victory. I mean, we were robbed on that one. The refs must have been walking in their sleep. But didn't one of your own players accidentally kick no. the ball twice into his own goal? I mean, uh, that doesn't sound like a bad call well, to me. That, that's just besides the point. Really? And finally, our team was ahead in the final match. I mean, they were way out ahead until the other team rallied in the final three minutes of play to squeak out a victory. It was a total embarrassment for our team. Our team was booed. All I can say is that the sun must have been in our players' eyes. Uh, wasn't it a night game? That's besides the point, too. I, you're just not understanding anything I'm saying. So, who are you rooting for now, seeing that your team has been eliminated? Uh. I can't watch any more soccer, so I've been following an online chess tournament. What? Now that has to be the most ridiculous reaction I have no, ever heard no, of. No. So you're going to completely boycott the rest of the play just because your team got bounced out of the tournament? Ah, oh, forget it. You just don't understand. Okay. So now let's submit your answers. Okay? And let's... Open the second one. Okay, got Aleida, very good. Okay, excellent. I got Carlos Omar. I got Emerson, Jose, Juan, Carla, Nelly, Pablo, Roberto, Sandra, Tatiana, Vladimir. Okay. Okay, I can see that some of you got 100, okay? And some got 80s. And so on. Okay. Let's continue with the second one, okay? With the last one for today. Um, the link is going to be the following. And the passcode is the same. Listening over. You, no, that one, no, guys. Let me get it from the, this one. Yes. That one. About the men and the water. Yes. Okay. Correct. Okay. So here we go. Same thing, okay? If you need an extra time, you just let me know. Hey, Andrew, stop wasting water. Turn the shower off. What? I can't hear you. I have the shower running. Yes, exactly. What? Oh, okay. I can hear you now. What do you want? Listen, you were in the shower for more than half an hour. That is more than enough water for ten people. I mean, don't you care about the planet? <laughs> you used at least 60 gallons of water. That is a terrible waste. I wasn't in the shower that long. Yes, you were. I timed you. <laughs> you timed me? Yes. Yes, I timed you. Our water bill was astronomical last month. Really? And you don't pay for any of it. Uh, it was $113. Oh. I mean, it's going up. Really? I, I mean, I know you lost your job, but I am not made of money. <laughs> Please be careful. I, I mean, at least maybe you could take one of your showers at the gym when you go in the morning. <laughs> I, I don't know how you afford a gym membership when you can't pay rent. <laughs> Please be careful. Okay. Okay. Sorry, sis. Okay. That's the second. Awesome. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> Tony. Okay, the second time. Hey, Andrew, stop wasting water. Turn the shower off. What? I can't hear you. 
I have the shower running! Yes, exactly! What? Oh, okay. I can hear you now. What do you want? Listen, you were in the shower for more than half an hour. That is more than enough water for ten people. I mean, don't you care about the planet? <laughs> you used at least 60 gallons of water. That is a terrible waste. I wasn't in the shower that long. Yes, you were. I timed you. You timed me? Yes. Yes, I timed you. Our water bill was astronomical last month. Really? And you don't pay for any of it. Uh, it was $113. Oh. I mean, it's going up. Really? I, I mean, I know you lost your job, but I am not made of money. <laughs> Please be careful. I, I mean, at least maybe you could take one of your showers at the gym when you go in the morning. <laughs> I, I don't know how you afford a gym membership when you can't pay rent. <laughs> Please be careful. Okay. Okay, sorry, sis. Okay. So now yes. Yes, it's done, teacher. No, I don't understand the number four. Okay. So let me replay it. Sign. Please. Yes. Here we go. Hey, Andrew, stop wasting water. Turn the shower off. What? I can't hear you. I have the shower running. Yes, exactly. What? Oh, okay. I can hear you now. What do you want? Listen, you were in the shower for more than half an hour. That is more than enough water for ten people. I mean, don't you care about the planet? <laughs> you used at least 60 gallons of water. That is a terrible waste. I wasn't in the shower that long. Yes, you were. I timed you. You timed me? Yes. Yes, I timed you. Our water bill was astronomical last month. Really? And you don't pay for any of it. Uh, it was $113. Oh. I mean, it's going up. Really? I, I mean, I know you lost your job, but I am not made of money. <laughs> Please be careful. I, I mean, at least maybe you could take one of your showers at the gym when you go in the morning. I, I don't know how you afford a gym membership when you can't pay rent. <laughs> Please be careful. Okay. Okay, sorry, sis. Okay, now... Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay. Very good. I think that this was easier than the previous one, right? Yes, most of you got... And less disgusting. <laughs> it is 100, okay? Okay. All right. So now, guys, let's continue. Let me just uh, move. Yes. Okay, guys, let me ask you something. What is a focus group? What is a focus group? Uh -huh. It's a method that um, interview a different customers about the one service or product. Okay. So let's see. Um, Carla, can you please help us reading what is a focus group? The definition that we have right here. Uh, complete. Yes. Okay. A focus group is a gathering of deliberately select people who participate in the facility discussion and intended, <laughs> intended to elicit consumer perception about a particular topic or area for interest. Mm -hmm. Uh, this discussion should be held in an environment that is non trusting and receive receptive and like interviews, uh, which usually occur with uh, individual. A focus group allows members to interact and influence each other during the discussion and consider, consideration consideration yes. of ideas. Okay, thank you, all right? Guys, pronunciation, all right? So, a focus group is a gathering of deliberately, yeah, selected people who participate in a facilitated discussion. 
intended to elicit consumer perception about a particular topic or area of interest. These discussions should be held in an environment that is non-threatening and receptive. So that means that makes you feel comfortable, right? Unlike interviews, which usually occur with an individual, a focus group allows members to interact and influence each other during the discussion and consideration of ideas. Uh -huh. Yes. So in this case, uh, basically a focus group, it is a method. Right, it is a gathering. Yeah, what is a gathering? Gathering means reunión. Like yeah? meeting. Like a meeting. Gathering. Yes, it is a gathering. Yes, that mm -hmm, facilitate discussions, right, about a particular topic or area of interest. And most important, guys, these discussions should be held in an environment where uh, the consumer or the people feel comfortable because they need to interact, right? So now let's move and let's talk about tips to design focus group questions, yeah? Let's see. Um, Jose, help us reading uh, number one and two, and then Tony, three, four, five, and Nelly, number six. Okay. Okay. Introductions. Begin the session. Be, begin the session with a set of questions that will enable focus group members to get to know each other better. Uh, example: their favorite hobbies and interests. What they enjoy focus groups, etc. Fun, fun study question of activity or activity. Ask a fun question or do a team building game to get the group's creative flowing. For example, ask them to think of three words to describe their favorite hobby. Okay. Number three, format. When choosing focus group question, be sure to include a mix of multiple questions to provide the structure and direction and open-ended questions to allow for future exploration and discovery. Mm -hmm. Number four, rating scale. Select an appropriate rating scale to measure different levels of approval. Mm -hmm. Specify the specify the Avoid back open-ended question that simply asks why the or mm -hmm. why has a negative meaning. It makes the respondent think their first, first answer was not good. Instead, ask responders to provide some specific example of what they like it or did not like about the item in question. Thank you. Number no. six. Number six, closing. Thanks to participant for their help and ask if there anything could be done to improve the experience as a member of the focus group. Yes. Okay. So, a specificity. Okay. A specificity. A specificity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Best yeah. People. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good, guys. So basically, a focus group are this type of gatherings, right? And let me ask you: Have you ever conducted a focus group in your company, guys? Yes, I have. Okay. And why do you think it is important to design good questions? Uh 
for the participants in the focus group to respond, right? In this case, if it is about a product or it depends, right? Um, we need to make um, shorter and uh, clearly questions that don't make doubt with the question. Okay. Okay, the questions must be understandable, right? Uh -huh. For the participants mm -hmm. to answer, okay. All right, somebody else, guys? Have you ever conducted a focus group in your company? No, um, in my case, in my company, never, but uh -huh. uh, we practice in the university. Okay, perfect, Nelly. So tell us about focus groups. What do you know? Um, we practice with uh, different partners. Um, and different um, gift gerents, man, um, managers, managers. Managers, okay. <laughs> yes, managers, managers of uh, different companies. Uh -huh. They're talking about um, uh, different topics about the production and sales and marketing and different strategies. Okay. Yes. Very good. Thank you, Nelly. Somebody else? No? Nobody? Okay, and the last question that I'm going to ask you before we move on, guys, why do you, um, or what are the advantages of a focus group? Um, we can uh, note different different point of view that people have uh, experience in something. Perfect. Yes, now. Very good. Okay, somebody else. Uh -huh. Yes, what are the advantages? Yes, we, we can have real opinions to perform the products or services by the, the, the mouth of the clients, of the customer. Mm -hmm. It means I try to say that is a direct way to know what is your product making good and what is the problem or the treats that we need to resolve or to um, get in better. To improve, right? Improve. Improve. Excellent. Very good, guys. Yes, that is correct. Now, guys, um, I'm going to take some minutes to ask in general again, okay, because I was checking the platform and I can see that some of you have not even started the first unit on the platform. And we are on week two already, well, almost three. Okay, so well, you know, okay, that you haven't probably worked on the platform, so try to work on the platform, okay? Try to do it, yes, yeah, don't forget about it. If you have questions, ask, but try to work on the platform, yeah? Okay, so now, before we go, let's practice with those two questions, okay? 
So guys, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Okay. With the popularity of technology that focuses on entertainment, people read fewer books than before. Do you agree or disagree? Uh -huh. And why? I agree. Okay. I agree because I think that um, the books you need to pay for them and and they use a space that we need to another thing in, in, in my case, in my house. And I have a, an application to to read them without paying or uh, free for free. And if I need something specific, um, the electronic note is more easy to, to, to follow, to, to keep or to uh, go with, the, with them to travel and, and you don't need the, the book as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, easier, Tony, easier, okay? Easier, yes. easier, easier. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Somebody else that has an opinion on that. Mm -hmm. I think that yes, actually that one I agree, right? Because we now have ebooks. Yeah, they are better. You don't spend money, right? I mean, okay. So now this one, you have been very busy and unable to prepare for the exam tomorrow yeah you can either stay up late to study and sleep less or just study less and get full night's sleep which will you choose mm -hmm. Um, depend depend how I feel in that moment. Okay. If if I feel um very tired, I choose to sleep all night. Okay. But but if if I don't feel so tired, um yes, I can study all night. Okay. It depends on how you feel. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else? Mm -hmm. Which one would you choose? Carla? Mm, I prefer stay late. Stay up late? Stay up late. Okay. Yes, I think that because of, of your profession, I, I do think that you stay up to study, right? Yes, because of your, of your profession. Okay, guys. Well, we're going to stop right here. Yeah. So, but before we go is, let me see, Juan Jose Herrera here. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Can you please stay? Um... Okay. Okay, so then the other ones, thank you very much for actually connecting today, guys. I hope you have a great weekend. Take care, and I'll see you back on Monday. Good night. Have a good night. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take Happy care. Guys. You as well. Okay, enjoy. Good night. Good night, Nelly. Okay, so um, yes, Juan Jose. Hello. Hello. Okay. So this one is going to be really short. Okay. Then um, how are you? How do you feel? I mean, I would like to ask you about how do you feel with our classes, right? What do you think about the this module? Yeah. What do you think about uh, the dynamic that we have with uh, your classmates, right? I would like to listen to your opinion. Okay, I will try to say it in English. Um, yes. Bueno, no sé cómo decirlo. Juan José. <laughs> Lo que pasa es, teacher, de que 
eh, honestamente he estado un poco frustrado con, con las últimas clases Ok. porque sé que son temas un poco más complicados que hay que poner un poquito más de atención Sí. eh, por algunas estructuras, por algunas reglas y todo lo demás, ¿verdad? Pero yo he estado en una situación en, en mi trabajo por un tema de una certificación de, de ITIL que nos han pedido, que es, es de la parte de, de informática, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces he estado con, con eso, que, que por eso no he podido ni estar como tan, Presente. tan compenetrado en las clases, ni tan presente, exacto, ¿verdad? Y son, de hecho, son dos certificaciones, la de ITIL y una de, de Cultura Feedback, Sí. este, que están llevando, aparte de unas implementaciones que hemos estado haciendo, que cuando es tema de, de equipo informático siempre se tiene que hacer de noche en horario fuera de oficina porque no podemos interrumpir las, las, las funciones ¿verdad? de las empresas. Okay. Entonces eso me tiene un poco frustrado y ahí de repente veo que temas ahí que me dejan un poquito en la luna y yo, Dios mío, quiero tirar la toalla por rato. <ríe> No, Juan José. <ríe> Vaya. Mire, en realidad, pues, eh, me imagino que por la parte de su trabajo sí está bien ocupado. Ahí más las certificaciones que está sacando, pues no dudo que también está bien ocupado estudiando esas eh, certificaciones. Ahora, con el tema de inglés, eh, sí, eh, en realidad los temas que estamos viendo, si usted ya pues lo notó, son un poquito complejos, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, tenemos que estar como bien focus en la clase. Yo entiendo que en ocasiones tal vez no podamos estar presentes durante tal vez ciertas actividades que hacemos, pero le voy a recomendar que al menos en la parte donde explicamos la gramática, trate de reservar unos 20 minutos, ¿verdad? Donde la expliquemos para que usted no se sienta perdido. Eh, cuando ya pues usted vea los ejercicios en la plataforma, ¿sí? Um, la solución no es ir a la toalla, Juan, ¿ok? En este caso es tratar de al menos reservar ese tiempo donde usted pueda escuchar la explicación, ¿verdad? Porque ya notó que vamos como primero, damos vocabulario, después la gramática y después vamos a los ejercicios. Entonces es como una secuencia Sí. que se puede como... Usted la puede ver, ¿verdad? La, la secuencia que llevamos, entonces ya cuando llegue el tiempo de gramática y donde vamos a explicar, ahí sí, deje de que tal vez un momento, ¿verdad? De hacer lo que está haciendo y eh, enfóquese en lo de la gramática para que usted después no sienta que anda muy perdido, porque yo puedo comprenderlo en el sentido de, de que tiene bastantes actividades que hacer, ¿verdad? Más lo, lo de las certificaciones y su trabajo y es entendible. Sin embargo, eh, En la parte de, de, de las clases, es bien importante que esté pendiente tal vez solamente de esa parte, que cuando usted pueda participar en alguna conversación o algún ejercicio, se una para que no se sienta muy perdido después. Porque si eh, no nos unimos, aunque sea en, una, en, en un momento, o opinamos, ¿verdad? Al menos una vez, Juan José, para que usted también vaya, eh, no vaya sintiendo como ese que se va quedando, ¿verdad? Porque recuerden que si, si va sintiendo eso, exactamente, se va a frustrar y va a querer tirar la toalla. Cosa que... Sí, sí, ahorita lo veo de lejos, ahorita van a saber a dónde. <ríe> Juan Ni el José. polvo de hoy, pues. Ni el polvo. No, Juan José, pero tiene que continuar. Sí, tiene que continuar. Trate de, de, de hacer los ejercicios en la plataforma. ¿verdad? Si usted tiene preguntas, hágalas, o sea, escríbame y si tiene alguna duda yo le puedo explicar, ¿verdad? Sí, Pero, de hecho, sí. ¿no? dígame. De hecho, eh, las que no he podido hacer es de un tema que también, eh, como no, no estuve como tan al tanto de la, donde se hace una reducción, donde se puede reducir y cambiar la forma en la que se plantea una, una oración. Ok. Eh, vaya. Eso le voy a, lo voy a, se lo voy a explicar en este momento, porque eso eh, es bien sencillo, no es nada complicado. Lo que sí que tenemos que tener como unas reglas, ya le voy a mostrar. Eh, déjeme ver, creo que fue en la clase Con esa 8. certificación de ITIL, la, dos semanas, en dos semanas tenemos el examen. El problema es que no, nos acercaron la fecha y eso nos tiene como locos en el trabajo. Sí, me imagino. Y cuando Un son montonazo certificaciones, tiene de información. que pasar. Sí, tiene que pasarla, supongo, porque Sí. es parte de su, 
de su trabajo. Así es. Ok, vaya. Mire, en la reducción de a cláusulas es esto. Exactamente creo que esto es lo que eh, tal vez está un poco como confundido. Vaya, eh, fíjese que en inglés nosotros tenemos este tema que se llama adverbial time clauses, eh, eh, reducing adverbial clauses. ¿Sí? Entonces, ¿qué sucede? Vaya, lo que sucede es que tenemos que seguir ciertas reglas ¿sí? para reducir las cláusulas. Entonces, ¿cuáles son las reglas? Lo primero es fijarnos, usted va a ver estas oraciones así. Entonces, cuando nosotros decimos reducirla, es hacerla más pequeña, pero ¿cómo la hacemos más pequeña? Si usted se fija, esta cláusula tiene dos oraciones. Miren, que está separadas por coma, ¿ve? Todas. Sí. Entonces, tienen dos oraciones. Por lo tanto, nuestra regla gramatical dice que podemos hacerlas más cortas. ¿Cómo? Primero, identificando si las dos oraciones tienen el mismo sujeto. Si las dos oraciones tienen el mismo sujeto, entonces sí se puede reducir. Pero si las oraciones no tienen el mismo sujeto, entonces en ese caso eso no se puede reducir. Ya ni, ni intenta usted reducirlo porque esa es la primera regla que tiene que cumplir. Ahora, en esta oración número uno, ¿tiene el mismo sujeto? Aquí tenemos they y aquí están the performance. ¿Tiene, ¿Son los mismos sujetos? Si se refiere they, performers. Ajá. Uh -huh. Performers sí. es performers. Eh, los, eh, como los artistas, los actores. Ok, está hablando de ellos, entonces Correcto. creo que sí tiene. Correcto. Uh -huh. Entonces sí tiene la misma, el mismo sujeto, ¿verdad? Perfecto. Entonces aquí ya vimos que podemos empezar a reducir la cláusula, la oración. Entonces ya pasamos al primer filtro. Ahora, lo segundo es que dice que vamos a eliminar el sujeto en la adverbial clause. ¿Y qué significa esto? Simplemente la oración que lleva el adverbio. Entonces, primero tenemos que identificar cuál es la oración que lleva el adverbio y cuál es la oración que lleva el adverbio. ¿La primera o la segunda? ¿Pero cómo sabemos cuál es el adverbio? Muy bien. El adverbio siempre va a ser after, before, while, when, and all. Ah, ah. Entonces, si en ese caso sería la, la oración que está al lado izquierdo de la coma, o sea, la primera. La primera, correcto. Aquí va el adverbio. Entonces dice que vamos a eliminar ese sujeto. Entonces, vamos a eliminar el sujeto. ¿Y qué dice la, clau eh, la regla después? Que el verbo que le siga, si es un verbo, va a tomar la forma de gerundio. Ya no lo va a dejar como está, sino que va a ser un gerundio. ¿Y qué es un gerundio? Es In, un ING. 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 Entonces... Venimos after y aquí sería singing. Thank you. Two songs, coma, the performers did a dance. Y aquí ya, la, ya esto es el tema, ya la reducimos. Ese verbo siempre va a estar en pasado. El after they sung. Ajá. Entonces, lo que sucede aquí es cuando reducimos las cláusulas, si usted ve, cambiamos el verbo en gerundio, ¿verdad? Pero, Ajá. pero la idea no se cambia. ¿Por qué? Porque la segunda oración va en pasado siempre. Entonces, esto es pasado siempre. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Okay. Y en algún caso, digamos en la plataforma, está una oración en la que no cumple la regla y no se puede reducir, se deja en blanco. Uh, o todas de, están para reducirlas. De, de hecho, todas están para que las pueda reducir. Mm -hmm. Entonces, mm -hmm. vaya, esa es la primera. Esa es como la primera regla. ¿Sí? Okay. Hagamos la segunda, vaya, hagamos la segunda. Vaya, lo primero. 
identificar si es el mismo sujeto en la segunda oración, en las dos oraciones. Before he answered the phone, he grabbed, grabbed a pencil and notepad. Uh -huh. He, sí, es he en ambos. Bien. Entonces podemos reducirla, ¿verdad? Vale. Sí. Entonces, ¿cómo sería? Ya cuando, ya como vimos cómo la hicimos la primera, ¿cómo sería? Ok, ¿Vale? según la regla y la primera, vamos a eliminar el primer he, el primer Bien. sujeto. Uh -huh. Y el answer lo vamos a cambiar a gerundio, a ING. Muy bien. Y quedaría así, ¿verdad? Answer For answering the ring. phone. The phone. Oh, he, uh, grabbed, he grabbed. He uh -huh. grabbed. So, en notepad. No me tiches todos los días, no deberíamos de quedar. ¿no? <risa> <risa> Miren, así es bien sencillo, ya vio. <risa> Y yo no, entrando mire, bajo la cama por este tío mío, decía yo, ¿cómo voy a hacer esto? <risa> no, pero cuando se tenga dudas nos podemos quedar porque hay personas que no se quedan o que me dicen, no, tío, yo no puedo, entonces nos podemos quedar. Vaya, mire, luego, vaya, aquí viene lo que también usted se puede encontrar en la plataforma. Fíjese la número tres. Dice, While I was away in college, I stayed with my roommate's family during one spring break. Esta es una oración. Vaya, lo primero, identifiquemos que tenga el mismo sujeto. Sí, lo tiene. Lo tiene. Entonces, se puede reducir. Pero lo diferente de las demás es que esta lleva el verbo to be, verbo to be. en pasado. Ok, I was. Entonces, la regla dice que en este caso vamos a eliminar el sujeto y el verbo to be. Entonces, mm -hmm. lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Vamos a eliminar el verbo to be y el sujeto. ¿Sí? Ok. Entonces, ¿cómo queda la oración? Si ya no tengo verbo para agregar el ing. Simplemente usted va a agregar lo que le sigue. Si no hay verbo, no lo hace. Uh, while away in college. Uh. Correcto. Entonces, ve, ajá, veamos la número cuatro. Si se fija en la número cuatro, ¿qué sucede? Tenemos el verbo to be, pero... Tenemos el ING. She is sí, ya está en estudio, sí. Entonces, lo mismo. Eliminamos sujeto y verbo to be. Y le dejamos el ING. Porque es lo que le sigue al verbo to be. She is... Uh, vaya, en este caso, ¿Eh? el, el sujeto, si es el mismo, eh, está en presente. Correcto. Is, se quitan los dos, sujeto y, ¿cómo se llama el otro? Verbo to be. El verbo to be y solo se deja el complemento. Hmm. Correcto. Entonces, esa es la regla. Solo, perdón, <risa> si está el to be en sí. pasado sí. o en presente, si está... Siempre solo se quita y se deja lo que continúa. Correcto. Ok. Entonces, ¿cómo sería la cinco? La cinco. Although he was hurt, Jack managed to smile. He was hurt. Jack. Le quitamos he was. Very good. Y quedaría. Le dejamos, uh, although hurt. Jack managed to smile. To smile. Así. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Sí, va. así como esto, que son temitas así que hay que prestarle realmente atención, es lo que hace que, que ahora se entienda. Correcto. Y, y lo otro que he notado también en el módulo, teacher, es de que aparte de estos temas que son un poquito más complejos por la gramática, Sí. Eh, el vocabulario también es un poco complicado. Entonces, ya al unir las dos cosas es para llorar. <risa> no, la verdad que, que, que eh, sí. En realidad es un poco como complejo, 
pero así también como que va retándolo un poquito más, pero como usted dice, tiene que estar bien enfocado y prestar atención. Sí, y yo llego sin cerebro a la clase, Dios mío, no. <ríe> Fíjese que incluso cuando me llamaron una vez que no me pude conectar, ¿Sí? yo pregunté si había algún otro horario, porque no podía, o sea, no quiero estarme perdiendo así la clase. Sí. Pero me dicen que el de la mañana solo es presencial y sí. no, no, no hay forma de que sea en línea. No. Pero bueno, me lo doy ya va a pasar esto y voy a estar un poco más concentrado porque... Sí, usted tranquilo, nada más que cuando tenga dudas de algo que usted vea la plataforma que ya no lo puede hacer y que tal vez usted no estuvo, mándeme un mensaje aquí al, al Zoom, conéctese y me dice, dicho nos podemos quedar ahora y me explica este tema. Y ok, yo, ok. Perfecto, perfecto. Vale. Ok. So, okay. ¿ya le quedó un poquito más claro? Sí, sí, clarísimo. Hoy sí. Ok. Yo hoy más o menos veo el polvo, teacher. Veo que van por ahí. <risa> Vaya, me alegra entonces. <risa> Lo estamos esperando. <risa> ok. Vale. Ok, Juan. Bien, cualquier otra duda, me dice. ¿Sí? Excelente. Muchas okay. gracias, teacher. Thank you. Ok, so have a good night. Take care. See you on okay. Monday. Okay, see you Monday. Okay, bye, bye, bye. Good night. Bye, good night.